Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. King Thistle is not well. Ooh. <coughs> Daddy, you've blown our cards over. I can't help it, Holly. I'm very ill. You've just got a cold, that's all. Uh, no. It's not just a cold. It feels worse than that. Daddy's a bit grumpy. Daddy's always grumpy when he's ill. Then why don't you use a little fairy magic to make me better? Darling, you know fairy magic can cure everything except the common cold. It's not a common cold. It's something serious and it needs sorting. All right. I'll try a little magic. Abracadabra! Oh, <laughs> now I'm sneezing and I've got a stuffed up nose. Sorry, but I told you magic wouldn't work. Perhaps you should see the elf doctor. Is that the elf doctor? Yes. The king is ill. Sneezing and a stuffed up nose. I know, but he thinks it's serious. Thank you. Goodbye. You rest in bed, darling, and wait for the doctor. Hmm. The doctor is here. That's just the wise old elf. I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a qualified doctor. Oh, I see. Well, doctor, I am not well. I keep sneezing, my nose is blocked up, and my head aches. I see. Could you open your mouth and stick your tongue out? Ah! Uh... Now look up, look down, and wiggle your feet. Hmm. Now flap your arms like a bird and whistle. <whistles> Interesting. At last! A thorough medical examination by a qualified doctor. What you have is a case of acute viral nasopharyngitis. Aha! You see? It is something bad. Otherwise known as the common cold. Is that all? No. You're grumpy as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, doctor, can you make me better? Uh, let me see what I've got. Ah, this should do the trick. Does it taste bad? Let's just say it doesn't taste good. I'm not having it. Daddy, we all have to have medicine when we're ill. Oh. Hmm, <coughs> 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 that's interesting. <coughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, it does say cough mixture. <coughs> I know a recipe that can cure all kinds of colds, whether they be common or... This is Noggin, the premium learning app from the experts at Nick Jr. Featuring amazing learning games. Six, seven, eight. That's awesome. Activities for creativity. Wow. Books at your fingertips. And, oh yeah, hundreds of ad-free episodes of your kid's favorite Nick Jr. shows. <laughs> So if your kids are ready to watch, play, and learn, let's dive in! Start your free trial today at noggin.com. With Squarespace, editing and adding pieces on my e-commerce site is quick and easy. So I can focus more on the creative part of my business.
or not. Expanding hands. Itchy ears. Hairy teeth. Smelly noses. Baldness. Ah, here it is. The common cold. I just need to find the right ingredients. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un rot de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh. Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look. A dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh! Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. Can't we just take some slime from the ground? You can't go around collecting someone else's slime without asking them first. It's not polite. Hello, Mr Slug. Louder. Hello. Uh, my daddy, the king, isn't well. We need some of your slime to make his medicine. Can we collect some in this jar, please? I think that means yes. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. Well done, Holly. Let's check our list. A dewdrop. Here, Nanny Plum. Slug slime. Here, Nanny Plum. Last of all, we need a frog burp. Hmm, this could be tricky. There's a frog, Nanny. Oh, good morning, Mr Frog. Would you be so good as to burp into this jar, please? Try and relax. That's it. Oh, we haven't got all day. To make babies burp, you rub their backs. OK, I'll rub the frog's back. I can hear something. Hooray! Back to the kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. Now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 
bark of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> <gasps> but I must... Your Majesty. Long hair really does sue you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> can, can we, we help, help too? too? Of course you can. The more the merrier. <laughs> Uh, uh, please, that's not necessary, Your Majesty. Oh, but it is. Achoo! Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm... Princess Holly. Well. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts in the little forest. The Lost Egg.
play catch. But Holly, we haven't got a ball. That's easy. I can magic one up. Abracadabra, abracadu, magic a ball and make it blue. Hmm, maybe not blue. Red. It's a bit small. Shall I make it bigger? It's fine. Come on, let's play. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Holly, have you magicked the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. So what's this then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? <coughs> I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Da da doo dum da dee da. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. Nanny Plum, quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on. We'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Hmm. Here's a magic egg, Nanny. That's not a magic egg. Is it a dragon's egg? No, it's some sort of bird's egg. Hello. What sort of bird's egg are you? A blackbird. It's a talking egg. No, it's me, the wise old elf. Oh, hello. Good day, Mistress Plum. As I was saying, it is a blackbird's egg and there's a baby chick inside. How do you know? You can hear it tapping. Listen. Ooh, exciting. Nanny, can we look after it? You must never collect the eggs of wild birds. The place for an egg is with the mummy bird. Wise words, Mistress Plum. But the mummy bird's not here. Then we must find her. Ow, ow, ow. I know. Gaston can follow the egg's trail and find the mummy. Clever, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. Oh! oh! I don't think the ladybird can follow the trail through water. Now we can't find the egg's mummy. So what can we do, Nanny? If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs>
Bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. You won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. There. And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistledown make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. There's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No. The egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. <sighs> Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it. And I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually, the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming. Like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! Oh, come on, everyone. Try again. <laughs> There's another one. Oh! I give up. They're too hard to catch. The baby bird is very hungry. We really need to find its mummy. Usually the mummy bird comes when her baby calls. But it's not chirping loud enough. Nanny, do a spell to make the chick chirp louder. Of course. Zig, zag, zig, make it big. Oh, no, Nanny. I think you've got the spell wrong. The chick is getting bigger. I haven't got the spell wrong. I made it bigger to make it louder. Ooh. Don't worry. The spell won't last long. How long, Nanny Plum? Uh, it could last a minute. Or a week. Or... Here. Hooray! 
What's it saying? The chick says thank you very much and bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. And me. How about some juicy worms? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Searching for a better way to collaborate with your team? Try Miro, an online whiteboard made for teamwork. Everyone's welcome, from project managers to product managers, designers, developers, agile coaches, and consultants. Get the whole team together in real time on Miro's infinite canvas. Use your Miro board however you like. For online workshops and project planning. Or brainstorming and ideation sessions. There's a template tailor-made for your needs. Whether you're in the office, working with a fully remote global team, or catching up in your own time, working together is seamless. Miro is there whenever and wherever inspiration strikes to keep things moving. Interactive features help your team work as one, with timers, sticky notes, voting, and of course, these guys. And the finishing touch? You can integrate the tools you're already using, making your mirror board the center of the universe. Join the millions of teams already on Miro and connect and collaborate in a new way. Sign up for free today. I'm training. It looks like playing to me. Well, it's not. I'm getting ready for the elf games. That sounds fun. Can I play some elf games? The elf games are not fun. They're very serious. Now, I need to practice my lifting. Ugh, this acorn's really heavy. I can do that. Abracadabra. Easy peasy. <laughs> you used magic. We don't have magic at the elf games. Oh. So what do you have? We have jumping. Hoopla! I can do that. Hoopla! <laughs> we don't have flying either. The games are not for fairies, just for elves. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. <coughs> we have serious things like jumping, running and... Princess Holly, time for your lessons. 
Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about. We don't just run. We jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow. If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap, for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. Hooray! You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the Elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy Princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, Go! Come on, fast Ben! Come on, Ben! Oh, Ben can't hear me. We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! Barnaby Elf is the winner. Hooray! Oh, no! Ben's come last. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. <gasps> now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. At Select Blinds, try before you buy. Find blinds and shades that are right for you. Order up to 15 free samples. Save time and money and order select lines today.
Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses... He's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Plum. Um, hello. I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. What is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks. Get set. Go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me. What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Nice We're here. Hello. Hi. Oh, this came from the surprise angle. Oh. Are you excited about today? Mm. Wow. 
this? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's the best yeah. cake ever. Mm. Where did it oh. even come from? Don't overthink it. Mm. Yeah, don't question cake. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. Do you guys hear a whistling sound? Don't overthink it. Yeah, don't question sounds. <laughs> Who knows what day it is? Oh, no. Please don't tell me it's Hank's birthday. It's my birthday, 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 it's my birthday. Every year for his birthday, Hank asks for the same thing. He asks us to help him make his very own episode of his all-time favorite show, Bongo and McGillicuddy. And every year we say no. It's not like we like telling our friend he can't have what he wants. But there is no way that we're acting out one of his little scripts on camera, uh-uh, no. It could ruin our super professional image. <laughs> Say it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday! And that means it's showtime! It is not showtime. You can't make people do things just because it's your birthday. Yeah, plus we have a ton of deadlines this week. We can't take an entire day to help you with your little skit. Well, sorry. It's just that ever since I was a little, little boy, I just always wanted to make my own episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy. <sighs> sorry, though, I... I didn't mean to take up everyone's valuable time with my stupid, dumb, lame little dream. <laughs> Even though you ate my cake. My birthday cake? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll be in it. Really? But I'll have to move some things around in my schedule, so let me just call my agent. Thanks, Angela. Ooh, you can play the grizzled old police chief. How fast can you grow a mustache? Wait, what? Well, I guess it is your birthday, and we did eat your cake. So I suppose I could play a minor character. Yes! You could play McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy is Bongo's orangutan sidekick. And you won't have many lines, because he's one of those non-talking orangutans. Actually, Hank, all orangutans are non-talking orangutans, because orangutans can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe the jokes for the blooper reel, buddy. You know, I'm actually somewhat of a thespian, so I wouldn't mind sinking my acting chops into a new project. Hooray! That just leaves... Hmm. Let me think about it. Hmm. No. I'm good. Uh... <sighs> Goodbye, Bago. It's okay, Hank. I'll play your lead. I shall be your Bongo. And guess what? I'll do it better than Tom ever could. All righty, then. Excuse me? Oh, it's nothing personal, Tom. It's just that some of us are... How should I say? More naturally talented at the arts than... Oh, how should I say? Others of us. I'm saying I'm better than you. Oh, you I know what you're saying, Ginger. Hank, I want that part. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ha ha. It's audition time. I didn't know Tom knew ballet. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about Tom. Really? Like what? Well, uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Uh, that's it, actually. Just the ballet thing. Tom's kind of an open book, I guess. Whew. <sighs> All right, so what's it going to be, Hank? Did I get the part? To Tom or not to Tom? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the garage to choose the talented actor Ginger or... Quit it, Ginger. The audition is over. Enough! It's just too hard to choose. You're both simply fantastic. Tub, I'm sorry. 
Sorry I had to use such a cliché misdirected before telling you that you've got the part! Yes! Ah! Are you serious right now? Sorry, Ginger, but Bongo is a hard-boiled street mm. cop who plays by his own rules. Mm -hmm. You're just a kid, so... What? I lost a part because I'm a kid? Mm. Angela's playing an old police chief! Oh, you don't think a girl can be a police chief? She doesn't even have a mustache! Thank you for understanding. But you know what I do need? An assistant. A right-hand man. Someone to help me out with all the most important parts of directing a big show, like bringing me a coffee. <sighs> and I like a lot of milk, kid. Okay, but I'm going to spit at it. Huh? Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Bongo and McKillicuddy, take one. And action! <laughs> Cut! 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 I know, right? Ben totally huh? bungled that last line. No, Ben was perfect! When I asked you for coffee, I meant I wanted it today! <gasps> what, are you raising the beans and then milking them yourself? I don't think Hank knows where coffee comes from. Here's your coffee, sir! <laughs> oh, that's disgusting! <laughs> this coffee still tastes like coffee! I told you more milk! More milk! More milk! How about I just bring you a glass of milk? <gasps> Ginger, I know you're doing your best, but can you explain something to me? Sure. Why isn't there a stapler on the chief's desk? Have you ever seen a police chief who doesn't have a stapler on his desk? Uh, you know what? Everyone take five. <gasps> oh, you're so mean. <laughs> I didn't know Hank would be taking this so seriously. The question is, why aren't you taking it more seriously? Other internet providers not flexible enough? Well, things have changed. Introducing Optimum Flexibility. Choose your internet... <laughs> Do what I was cleaning. 